Do you guys see this? I've been in the store like several different times and I have my online order ready for you guys. So grab a drink, grab a snack. I believe it's going to be a very long video. So yeah, sit back, relax if you love makeup and we will go through all of it. Hi friends, welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Cynthia and I thank you for clicking on this video here today. So I hope you guys got your snack as I just told you guys. I'm going to go through all of it. There's going to be some little stories here and there. So I foresee myself taking a long time here. You guys already know if you clicked on the video how long this video is. As I'm starting it, I don't know. So I'm going to go over my Bopus on Friday, April 5th. I believe it was Friday, right? Uh, this sale started, maybe it even started Thursday night like it was active. I can't remember, but all I know is as soon as this order, this was active for Rouge members to get their 20% starting April 5th, I went ahead and placed a Bopus order. So this is my buy online pickup in store order in a Sephora uh, order. This came really, really quickly. To tell you the truth, this came before I even went to pick this one up. I don't know if I went on Monday or Tuesday. I just really been busy this week and that's why I haven't even gone through this with for, with you guys. But um, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and go through the bag first. I picked it up, as I said, after I had already got my online order. I was so surprised how quickly that order came in because I was assuming so many people placed orders. But I'm sure because it's open to even insiders. Insiders, I believe, get 10%. And then VIBs get 15%. And unfortunately, I spend a lot at Sephora, so I am rouge. And I got my order here. Let's go over. The first thing I'm going to take out, because it might take a while, is I went ahead and got the Jackie Ina. Look at her little picture here. Her little discovery set. So, yeah, I don't want to get any of the big ones yet. I'm going to go ahead and finish uh, off these little ones that she came out. Look at how cute that is. I actually do like the bottles. I believe they're not that expensive. Aren't they like $60 or so? Um, so let's see what we have here. And it has the notes, a little bit of the notes right here. I did smell every single one of these at the store and i did enjoy every single one i am a gourmand lover so i would say if you want to know which one my favorite was even though kind of i have a hard time because i actually like i am her a lot too but i'm going to go ahead and go with my gourmand heart to get so the i am her has red velvet pear and raspberry the i am her has those three notes and then the heart to get has lemon jasmine and vanilla frosting Ooh, i want to pair that one with my iced lemon pound cake so yes and then the you remind me is apricot white florals that's all it says okay and then nda is tobacco flower this is the one that i wasn't too sure if i was going to actually like because you know i don't want to smell like it's a tobacco flower i'm like tobacco anyway spiced rum and then vanilla bean so that's the basic notes that it says there i want to see what it says on the back okay, i'm going to read a little bit of what the back says right here so the ring light's way too bright i am her says never had to show out i just show up and the hard to get says in touch but out of reach uh remind me you felt that too it's like a question nda i'll take you for everything you have okay <laughs> okay jackie yeah i think she did really good and then she obviously brought them out for us to be able to uh definitely get them for an affordable price and even get our 20 percent let me spray this one really quickly the i am her and i do have i just put lotion on my hands and it's the apple one so i think it might it might conflict with the scent so that's why i didn't want to spray them right now and i have so much to go through so as i'm smelling it i'm like what floral does it have because i feel like i smell some kind of like white floral powdery i get the the fruitiness too but again I just put lotion on my hands. It's probably my lotion, but no, well, it was fruity. I'm going to not uh, spray these right now. We're going to move on because, again, we have so, so much. 
I went ahead and got the Shiseido Lash Curler. This one is a very popular one. I actually have had it before. I cannot find, when I couldn't find the one that I had before, I repurchased when I was in store one day to try the tweezer one. And that one's good too, a tweezer man one. But I wanted to have this one back. So I went ahead and repurchased that for myself because I lost the other one I had. And let's see, we have, I wanted to try this Milk makeup oh you know what guys i like to go over what i'm wearing and it's from sephora too so that you guys if you want to purchase it you can or at least i hope this eyeshadow palette is still at sephora so let me go over that really quickly because i do get asked sometimes and i want to make sure that i tell you the lashes i'm wearing which i also messed them up i'm going to repurchase them because i took them off very forcefully <laughs> i already wore them before and i had to cut them more because of the way i took them off so i had to be more gentle um and this one is kind of like going up and i don't like that but anyways they're from the sephora line and i got this one in craze uh it says craze and they're dramatic it says and i like dramatic so basically i'm gonna repurchase those and i'm gonna go ahead and repurchase this before the sale is over on my eyes the eyeshadow i'm using i'm hoping they still have this one it's an older one, Primrose Palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. The main, the color <laughs> on my eyelid, which I think uh, it's very, very nice. <laughs> Rose Water, this one right here. And then in my crease, I mix this one with the, these over here. I also mix these two in the crease. And I put a little bit of that one too in the crease. And on the outer V, I went ahead and put a little bit of that which is deep berry. So yeah, that's what I'm wearing on my eyes. Next, uh, on my lips, I am wearing, I am wearing, this is ColourPop though, uh, BFF2. It's an older one, I think different packaging now. And Anastasia, I went ahead and took this lipstick out and this one is called Peach Amber. It goes very, very well with the um, lip liner BFF2. So there's that, and I topped it off with this lip gloss from Fenty, and it came, this one was like, I bought it during Christmas, and it came in a trio, but this color is Champ Stamp Fantasy. I'm not sure if they still have these, but let me put a little bit more. I want my lips really shining. So there is that, and then for my for my cheeks, I decided to use Patrick Ta. I love his, uh, I want them all, but they are expensive, so no, I cannot have them all, even with the 20%. Uh, this one is She's the Moment. I already had it, I didn't buy it during the sale. As soon as it came out, I had to buy it, so unfortunately, I didn't get a discount on it. <laughs> but I love, love, love his blushes. They are literally the best. So yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm wearing and then as far as bronzer today I am using the one size the one size it's a trio I actually kind of blend all three this is the medium trio that's yeah the color and yeah I just blend them I blend it so that is what I'm wearing and then as far as powder the foundation I'm wearing is those of colors and that's not from Sephora but on top of that I powdered down with this makeup forever which is a repurchase I have in there because I'm hitting pan as you guys can see I'm going to carry this one in the car because I have to powder my nose because I do have big pores and if you guys ever see me in person, you probably sometimes will notice a little bit of my makeup comes off around my nose because of my pores. I haven't figured out how to, and I do like all these primers. I've tried different primers and I still get that problem. So this color though, it is 2R38. I don't know like as far as like the easy name for it is, I don't know. But that is what I have on. And I wanted to show you because I am, <laughs> recommending patrick ta for the sephora sale these blushes are the best look at this one i don't use the cream one as much i don't know why i feel like this is so good you don't really need that but i've been trying to do better so when i'm wearing this one now i am definitely trying to try to use both like i'll powder he wants you to powder first and then do the cream but usually like if you've done makeup for a long time you know like you want to go with the cream first and it honestly i feel like it doesn't matter do whatever you want but the way he suggests is do the powder and then the cream why i have no idea and this one is the color oh she's different 
I finished off one of them and it was a it was supposed to be a it was supposed to be a blush and I ended up using one of the brown ones as a bronzer. I think it was like she's so LA, something with LA. That's the one that I used up. And when I say I used up, I literally just used this up and I did not use this up. But you know what? I wanted to replace, I need to replace that one. But I'm not because I got a lot of things in here. Now let's finish off over here. So as I was saying, and I ended up getting two different colors because I want to see which one I end up getting or liking more. Uh, this is the one TN34. So this one is actually a little bit, yeah, so this is 38. This is lighter, right? I would think, I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna, but right now in the summer, I'm gonna change and my skin tone is going to change a lot. So none of these might work. I don't know. Let me open it though. None of these might work. And I think you can tell, or maybe you can't, but as I see it in person, this one looks lighter. This is the newer one, but it's not so light when you look through here. So we will see. I want to try it anyways. I want to see if I like it. Even for now, I would keep it for when I'm lighter. You know, right now I'm starting to get actually darker already from being outside at the park with my kids and baseball and stuff. So yeah, we will see. I, I might keep it. And I wanted to get, as I'm aging, I need to get more better with my skincare, or I shouldn't say more better, just better, uh, with my skincare. Uh, Paula's Choice right here, this is highly raved about. I actually follow a dermatologist uh, doctor from at, on TikTok. I don't remember her name, and she recommends this one, so that's why I also got it, not only because it's popular. So it's 1% retinol treatment with peptides and vitamin C. So I plan on starting to use this, and let's see. Okay, so I got this Urban Decay Moon Dust Shadow, and I feel like I want to have them all, but I'm getting them like little by little. This is in the Space Cowboy. I have the regular shadow, uh, eyeshadow for this, it's not like the moon dust one, I'm all the moon dust one, but I basically want to see what the difference is between that one and this one. Um, and so, but I really love these, like the one I do have solstice and I have like the purpley one. I forgot what the color to that one is. I, when I do wear those, I get compliments. I love getting compliments. Why not? <laughs> if you're uh, spending so much time on your makeup, but yeah, these are so beautiful. I suggest them. Like if you just want to put anything like the little brown in the crease and then you put this on your eyelid, let's see, let me swatch it. Because they're very, if you love sparkle like I do, they're very sparkly. I love it. Love, love, love these. Urban Decay shadows are some of the best. I've always loved them. So there is that one. Did I show you this one? Yeah, I, I talked about the primer, right? So the Milk Makeup uh, Poreless Primer. Yeah, we were talking about um, my pores and all that. So then one of the most popular things that are out here right now, Rare Beauty came out with new blushes and they look so, so beautiful. This is called uh mesmerize these are some that i also want to get like all of them i was having a hard time opening the box i already had tried to open it and i didn't um get it open so <laughs> yeah i'm using the the box cutter but here it is this is how it looks on the outside it has 0.98 ounces and let me open it no i this is not okay why was i thinking this was uh, the blushes because I did get some, but we'll eventually get to it. This is the color Mesmerize is from the highlighters. You guys probably saw that in the box. I didn't even read it as I was looking. So I'm going to swatch it. Oh, this is so pretty. I've already, that would look so pretty on your eye, on my eyelid. I am going to use it as a eyeshadow. Yeah, I'm going to try that as an eyeshadow as well. I had been wanting this one for a while, so I'm glad that I got it. Uh, Rare Beauty Her. Uh, products are actually really good as well um, I'm trying to think I haven't tried everything but of the things that I've gotten like I really have enjoyed uh, her her line a lot in fact let me know I was thinking of trying the mascara I think I saw someone say that her mascara is good good as well so I'm thinking about getting it so here's the story I got what is this okay the Shiseido sorry I have this for my bulbous i don't know if there's personal information in here but i have they give you this and they i guess they check off 
uh, all the items that you get and everything. And they, yeah, I don't see. So they put like quantity, like if they fulfilled it, one and all that, right? I have bought this Mario lipstick. It is in the color Bronx Baby. I wanted to try one of his new lipsticks. They look beautiful. I'm into the nude colors. And I basically, when I came home and I was looking in there and I should check from now on when i go pick up a bulbous order and i suggest you guys do too because you want you don't want to be made to feel like you know i don't know like you're stealing like you basically took it home and you have it at home but you anyways check your bulbous orders because and then check it off of whether you want to do it off of here or you want to do it off of your phone where you're like looking at exactly what you ordered and to make sure that it's in the bag because you don't want to go back. I had to go back the next day and let them know. And I was kind of scared. Like I wasn't sure if they were going to be like, you know, not give it to me and say, no, we checked it off. We're not going to give it to you. I was kind of scared about that. But as I'm showing you the color, here it is. Yeah, I went in and I was talking to the manager and he took and I showed him, you know, I showed him the little receipt. I said, yeah, it says on here like you guys grabbed it, but it's nowhere in my bag. I even literally I did do this because I had put my bag in like the back of not in the back, but basically the back seat. So I was looking under the, the seat and looking under and everything and it's nowhere to be found. So I was like, it's not in the bag. And even this, it wasn't flipped over. I wasn't driving crazy or anything like that. So, um, yeah, so he took the receipt at, when I was in there and he went to like the back and he took a while and I was like, why is, anyways, in my head, I'm like, is he going to give me my lipstick or what's going on? And when he came back, because he did take a while, he said, oh, I'm sorry, it took so long. Like I was just talking to the, you know, um, she, he was trying to find out what happened. He was talking to the person that fulfilled the order or something like that. That's what he said. So needless to say, just him taking that long, like I felt like they're thinking that, you know, like that I'm lying. So I don't like feeling like that. Like I am not going to steal or anything from anywhere. That so. kind of made me feel like they think I'm lying. And on, honestly, maybe they do think that because if they went to go talk to the person, they're probably going to say, no, I definitely put it in there. Even though it had been like four or five days later, uh, it might have fell out of the bag as you're bringing it back with a whole bunch of other orders. Or I don't know, maybe somebody at your store took it. But anyways, uh, let's move on. Yeah, that's the color. And when he came back, he did put it, he gave it to me and he said, this is the last one. I was like getting nervous because I didn't know if I was going to have it or not and all that but it is a beautiful color like mauvey pinky color and uh, I just love it and I'm just giving you guys that advice to make sure that you're checking your opus orders when you before you leave the store I'm definitely going to do that from now on because I don't want to have any problems so now this is was this the second trip nope this was like the third trip this was the second trip should we go through the second trip Let's go through the second trip at Sephora. So when I was <laughs> walking around the store, not minding my, not just picking up my order, uh, I decided to get this Caudalie because of my big pores. This is a trial size kind of, or you could say travel size. So yeah, it says mask instant detox, but it's supposed to tighten pores, removes excess oils. I hope that this, if any of you guys have used this, let me know. Or if you know of a mask that helps you with your pores, let me know because I need big time help. So I'm hoping that that really, really helps. I know I was looking online for one and that's the one I decided to get. I saw that Fenty has one too. So who knows, maybe I'll try that one next. But if that one works really well, I might not. I picked up another travel size because I didn't want to pick up the big one since I, I still have some of these. And uh, yeah, and I just didn't want to get the big one basically. So uh, we have something for my eyes. This is Cora Organics. Sorry, you guys can't even... My lighting is bad, bad, you guys can't even see, but this is called Cora Organics. I'm, I'll put a picture up here of what it looks like, all skin types. But be, I follow a lady called Erica Taylor on Instagram and on TikTok, but I'm more on Instagram actually. Uh, she said, if you're over 40, you should honestly follow her. She is a makeup artist and she gives us advice on you know how to do our makeup over 40 and all that. So she says that if your powder is getting cakey under here, that you can fix that with this little oil and that she carries it in her purse 
all the time uh because if it that happens to her what she does and look at that she doesn't apply it just quite like that so she'll put it on the back of her hand i should try it but i'm kind of scared messing up my makeup as i do this video uh that she puts it on the back right there of her hand this is a recent video that she did or a little tiktok that she did and she just go like this and then you like apply like this and then it won't look cakey anymore so that's what I'm going to do. And I'm already doing it. Oh my gosh. I'm hoping I'm not messing it up. But yeah. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have done it right now. But that is what she does. And I'm hoping that works really well for me. But definitely if you're into makeup, follow her because she knows what she's talking about. Okay. So I decided to get this glow recipe. I currently have the one that's in the pink bottle and it's not tinted. But I decided to use this one for the summer. I'm hoping that it gives me that bronze even though like I'm going to get it anyways. <laughs> but I really wanted to try this. Okay. So I use the other one every single day before I do my makeup and put on moisturizer. I put on this uh, niacinamide. Let me know if that's how you guys use it. I put it on before I put on any moisturizer or anything. So this is the first thing I put on my face. Not this one, obviously, but the pink one that I have. I think it's um, it's just not tinted. This is the tinted one for the summer. Let's go ahead. And I think a lot of people were hauling this one. That's so cute. I like the bottle. But I am excited to use this one. I should do, I know that you guys, some of you, not everybody, has asked me to do like makeup videos. Those are so hard for me to edit. But I'm going to try to do one very soon. The other thing I've been thinking of doing so that I don't have to edit is just maybe going on live here on YouTube and doing my makeup like a get ready with me with you guys so you guys can see how I do my makeup and then I don't have to edit it. It would be long, but that's the only way I think I might be able to do it. Let me know if you guys would be interested and would watch. So look at that. That's beautiful. Oh, I actually want to put this on my leg, make them look a little bit nicer and tanner. <laughs> uh that is so pretty i think it would look so nice on me even like no makeup days yeah i love that so i'm excited i'm really really happy about that one already and let's see next we have okay i don't have up till now and today house lab blushes i don't have any until i got bought this one I do uh, hear the rave about them. French Rosette is the one I got. So this is supposed to be like the color. I'm, And I got these colors. I think I got a lot of like peachy colors and stuff. Because for the summer, I feel like it's, it's going to be nice. Like I'm just going to look more, I don't know. It's going to go well with the tan. That's what I was thinking. So let's see. I know I guess they're smaller than her previous packaging. But yeah, here we go. Let me do a swatch it felt really soft i need to wash my hands that is beautiful like a terracotta color i think so that is very beautiful i'm so excited because i'm going to be able to use some of these uh and i maybe i'll put this no not this blush so here's the blush i was talking about that i got from rare beauty the boxes look the same so when i when i you know got it i thought it was and i didn't read it i thought this one was my blush and it's this one so this is the powder blush in the color happy uh this is like a pinky color and they are looking so beautiful so many people have been hauling them i have seen some people putting it on you know as they haul it and i love the way it looks i am very very excited to try to try these and like i said be well i don't know how they'll look on me on my face but i want here you go look at that i uh want every single color in this one and look at how beautiful that looks i was thinking of even getting uh i was thinking of getting the liquid blush in this color but then i was like maybe i should just use my elf uh, liquid blush that i have or yeah those are really nice as well so i'm not gonna do that not now, I believe. I hope. <laughs> okay, next bag. This is the, the third trip. And we're still not done because we still have my online haul. So the first thing I'm going to take out is I got this SPF 50 Shiseido uh, Clear Skin. 
it's sunscreen stick. I love this one. We finish a couple of these in the summer. It's just for the face. So my boys, when we're out there and the pool or just wherever and we need to put sunscreen on our face, this is the one I use. I had tried to buy another one, Cetaphil, from the store, uh, Walmart. It wasn't the same. It's not clear, that one. And then you look like a ghost face. But you guys see this? You could put this on top of your makeup. I'm all like looking at it. Should I show you guys? Yeah, you're going to look maybe a little bit shiny, but it's not going to mess up your makeup. It's not. It has just a tiny bit. It's not going to mess up your makeup. And the reason I bought this one the first time was because there have been time. Now I've bought like a lot of SPF things that I'm trying not to forget to put my SPF at all. Um, but there has been times in the past, last summer, that I messed up and I forgot my SPF. So here, this one, if you carry it with you, you will be, you know, in luck with being able to still put it on top of your makeup. When I got this one, I saw it on uh, Instagram. I forgot the girl's name, Rose Rose Blend. I forgot her name, but she tried this on and she put it on top of her makeup and I was like, I have to get that. So yeah, that's a repurchase that we will continue to repurchase all the time. And then I got these lashes when I was at Sephora. I asked the girl like which lashes she liked from the Sephora line. And she says she likes like dramatic and that these are a little dramatic. And I do too. And I like the way they're like, they flare and separate like that. Uh, these are swanky chic. Yeah. So these I will try maybe tomorrow as well. Um, so next. I was watching you, Shauna C. Remember I told you I have already been to the store like three times in your video. I said, I have already been to your into the store three times. I have my online order and I know you're going to make me buy something. So here it is. And it's because I also watch Amy Glam. And I remembered when you were talking about this one, Sweet Tooth. This is the Danessa Myricks and the color is Sweet Tooth. It's called Infinite Chrome Flakes. Oh my gosh. I remembered how, when... You said that Amy Glam used it in a video, and I remembered that video, and I wanted this one too when I watched it. And so you reminded me. So you reminded me. So I guess I got to thank you. I got to thank you for reminding me, and I ended up getting another one when I was in the store. <laughs> so here we go. This is beautiful, though. So very, very pretty. I don't know which video it was that Amy Glam uh, did when she wore this, but it, it was so stunning. So, so beautiful. So I hope it looks just like that on me too. I'm going to throw the boxes because this is stain and it's going nowhere. Look at that. But you guys can't see the color quite yet, right? So this comes very secured. I need to open it because I want to show you guys a little swatch of it. Okay. This box cutter is coming in handy. I'm going to put it back here. This box cutter and... You guys see that? It's a little bit here. So I'm going to take it off of there to swatch it. Oh my gosh. I hope these don't dry out quickly. I can't remember if she said if they dry out or not and all that. But I'm going to put it here by my knuckles. Oh my gosh. This, I know I know for sure the camera is not going to do it justice. But this, oh my. And then my lighting is so bad. This is so beautiful. If you guys are in the store at Sephora, go swatch these. I think there's four, maybe five colors, and they are so beautiful, like just stunning. I love these. Like, look at that. And and like I said, the camera, my camera is not even showing it as a pinky. Uh, it's basically changing colors, like iridescent color. It's just so beautiful. Go swatch it for yourselves and you might end up getting all of them. <laughs> so yeah, you might end up getting all of them. Then I got, since I was in there swatching all of them, I didn't get them all, but I decided I had to have this other color, strobe light. Strobe light. They're like iridescent colors, like they're changing. They are just so, just so stunning. If you're anything like me and you want your eyelid color to shimmer and shine, you will want these in your collection because they are so beautiful. Look at here how it kind of looks like if it's like a white or yeah, I don't know. But it is, you guys see that? Now I'm going to put it on this side. 
The only thing I hate is my, you know, I work with my phone friends. I do not have, because I do not know how to use a, you know, just like a nice camera. Do you guys see that? Look at that. It's just so pretty. I couldn't leave it behind. I will use it and try to jump on camera. And like I said, I think I want to do more lives where I kind of at least do my eyeshadow or something with you guys. And whoever wants to come on and watch it later. Because my lives, if I do do them, they have to be while my kids are in school. Like now they're in school. And that's the only way I would be able to do it. So definitely it would be like during the week while they're at school. And then I'll just leave them on like i'll upload them and whoever wants to watch them can watch them i decided to try this everybody talks about this what is it called color wow extra strength drink coat ultra moisturizing anti frizz treatment everybody talks about this do i just spray it like on my hair like this uh let's see well i'm spraying my face guys so does it smell good I don't smell anything, so I hope it works well. If it does, I would repurchase it. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I placed these down here, and I forgot to show you these. These were from my pickup order. I picked up, I love Makeup Forever lip liners. They are some of the best lip liners, at least that I've used for the longest time. I'm sure, you know, uh, Charlotte Tilbury has very nice lip liners, too and others probably oh mario makeup by mario too but anyways i wanted to get makeup forever and i'm trying to open these so i can show you guys the colors with a swatch somewhere here on my hand but the first color i have here that i'm trying to look for the color is anywhere caffeine <laughs> anywhere caffeine is number 600 i think it said that's that one but i will i will swatch it here in a second as soon as i can open it limitless brown is number 608 i believe so that's this one so i really wanted to try i think this may both of them i'm gonna end up trying it with my new makeup forever or makeup by mario not makeup forever lipstick my goodness friends it was taking forever to open these and i actually went and washed my hands so i could swatch it for you this right here anywhere caffeine i think that one's going to be the one that i might like the best with uh Oh, the lipstick from Makeup by Mario. Sorry. My swatches might not be that good because I am not good at doing this. Limitless Brown. Limit oh my gosh, this is so soft. They're breaking off. Look, I don't know if you guys could see that. It broke. But it's probably because it's not supposed to be on the hands. It's supposed to be on the lips. But there it is, dark. I like it. I like it. So there is that. So that so far is all that I have from the store, from going into the store. I say so far, I need to be done. I was just thinking of getting um, something from a perfume for my mom though. And if I do, maybe I'll tell you guys. I don't think she's been watching. She's not here in the country. Not that you can't watch it from everywhere, but I don't think she's watching <laughs> from Nicaragua. So I'm opening the box. Let's see. Let's see if they give me any samples. They probably, sometimes they just don't put them in. I always pick something. But we have first here this one size, the uh, Patrick Star. Did I? I hope I don't mess up. I always get them because it's Patrick's. Patrick Top, Patrick Star. I might say one for the other. And here we have the biggest one. I, the biggest one, I had the travel size. I used it up. I really do love it. Um, this is expensive, but it does work. There's a reason why it's pr practically viral. I'm trying to open it because I'm actually going to go ahead and spray myself right now. Uh, I did my makeup, let it, let it last all day. I do have baseball games this afternoon, two different ones. I'm going to have to be running from one to the other and just watch a little of each. So here we go. There we go, just a little bit. There's that, and we have a lip liner. I went with a vibrant pink. This reminds me of the MAC, the Candy Yum Yum. You guys remember, I still have it in my collection. I'm gonna have to pull that out and wear it with this one. I think these were like 650 right now, and I don't know if like an additional. I just know that it looked uh, very affordable, so I went ahead and got it, and definitely, reminded me of candy yum yum and summer's coming so i can pull out that color <laughs> hold on
hopefully it's still good. I know I saved my lipsticks forever, forever. As long as they don't smell funky, you can still wear them. These little wrappers they put on these things are so hard to open, like so difficult. Oh my gosh. I already, in between little takes, I'm trying to wash off my hands. So I already washed the other uh, lip liner that I had on my hands. So let's see, this color, what color is it? I can't, dragon fruit, dragon fruit. So here it is, dragon fruit. You know something about these are uh, Sephora lip liners. I have a red one, I don't know what color, what it's called, but I've worn it all over my lips as well. They wear so good, they're so creamy. It almost feels like, you know, just like a creamy type of lip li uh, lipstick. You could put this and I will use it that way too all over your lips it will work if it works like the red one that i have it work, works very very well so i'm smiling because here is another oh my gosh i ordered this twice okay i get to return one thing and then who knows i'll get something else okay i just sh showed you guys mesmerize uh highlighter sister if you want this is a beautiful highlighter so you maybe you can like get it and i won't go return it yeah so i'm not going to open it because here's the other one obviously i didn't realize that i ordered one from both for bopis and one for the online order so i'm gonna have to return that one yay get to get something different or just get my money back so here we have this uh luminous the, the blush another blush from rare beauty oh sister if you don't want that one i'm gonna get another blush I was thinking of getting Joy as well, the Joy one. And definitely, as I'm opening all these things, I really, really think I'm gonna just start going live and, and using a lot of these new items on my lives. Yes, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, uh, hopefully starting next week. I don't know, cause this weekend is a busy weekend. My boy has trials for All Stars and we've been trying to go out there and practice with him a lot every single day. So that's why I think I might not have time. So that is dark. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna try it and we'll see if I don't like it. I can't throw away the box because if I don't like it, I'm gonna have to return it. It looks so beautiful though. And honestly, because I get, I get so much darker in the summer that I think it will look so nice like on even darker skin. It might look nice on this, <laughs> on this right here. Let me see. I don't have any brushes in front of me. I know it's going to it's going to look not right patchy. But yeah, I think it's it's beautiful. And let's see, let me keep um, let me keep the box just in case even though I don't, you know, I don't think at all that I'll return it cuz I feel like it's going to look nice after I just kind of kind of swatched it like that. I know it doesn't look right to me because of the way I did it, but anyways. Okay. It makes me happy to see some like favorite products in here that I just want every single one of but you know at least I'm getting one more this Patrick star I got she's flushed I I didn't know which there were so many different colors that I was like looking at and I was like which other one should I get which other one I think this one kind of matches a little bit the one I, I showed you guys in the beginning look at how clean it looks the ones I have are so dirty in fact this one has um this black stuff right here is from lash lash glue that I couldn't take off and oh this looks so pretty oh my goodness this looks so pretty let's I'm not gonna swatch the well maybe I should here look at that that is beautiful I love his blushes oh my gosh and I don't look at that's the the creamy and then that's the the powder so yes i love his blushes if you guys can get like pick one that you think would be your favorite color she's flushed um and get that i was gonna put them next to each other to see like the difference in colors like when i was looking on eh, they almost look, no this one's way darker right oh this is gonna this is so beautiful oh i'm so excited to be using all these things okay so next we have Oh, everyone is talking about this house lab. I've been wanting to try it for the longest time. 
the foundation the house labs foundation i hope this is my color i definitely do not know i went from watching my other girl magdalene janet i should link everyone down below that i'm mentioning uh three and if i don't please please tell me in the comments because i do forget i'm very forgetful once i go to edit which is way later 330 medium cool and again i got this color i have no idea if this is my color but I got it because I watched Magdalene and Janet and I feel like I usually match and I'm going to say usually because not everything's going to be correct, right? Uh, her foundations. So that's why I love to watch her too because it's like uh, if she uses a certain color, sometimes I can definitely match that same color. Don't you? Ooh. Did I even know that it came like, wait, no, let me see. Hold on. I'm doing this wrong. I'm, I got to be doing this wrong okay let me okay <laughs> i was like opening the whole thing i was trying to look at the color but yeah i don't want to like swatch it so i think it looks like it'll be my color just looking at it mm -hmm. yeah i think it looks like it's going to work out for me so we will try that one out Ev i feel like everyone talks about this one if you wear this, let me know. Let me know how you like it. Or if you've used it and you didn't like it for you, let me know too. I do have combination oily and that's why uh, my makeup comes off of here because I have big pores. And aside from that, like because it gets so oily and that's why my makeup comes off in that area. So this is the same color as the one that I'm trying to replace. And due to that, like I'm always carrying this one back and forth. Like I'll bring it to the car and I like to leave it in the car because I don't want to be carrying it in my bag because I have that little small bag. And so I leave it in the car and then when I need it for my makeup, I go grab it. So I go back and forth. So this one that's hitting pan, I'm going to leave it in the car and I'm going to go ahead and carry this new one that I just bought. I mean, going to leave this one in my with my makeup here in the house so yeah i i just wanted to see if that other one i said that other one i said might be better for my when i get lighter in the winter or fall and i'm gonna return the other one because i think this one is gonna be more my color i just kind of wanted to see it in person i haven't swatched it even though i i want to <laughs> i want to oh i'm almost done friends i'm almost done hopefully i didn't keep you guys here for way too long i was debating between so i wanted to get this natasha denona palette that has everything i think uh this face glam face palette it says eye and cheek essentials i feel like when you travel like a weekend travel even like a little trip that you don't want to take too much makeup that's what i want to do just take this one uh and i was debating between the light one because it looks beautiful as well the light one and the dark this is the dark because she has two that are just like this and then one just says you know light and one is dark darker shades i guess um and i figure since i'm more tan and i'm gonna get more tanner during the summer especially hanging out by the pool um i'm going to need the darker one and look at the colors let me remove this i think that's gonna look beautiful on me this is one of those that i do want to come on and show you guys like do my makeup with you guys and show you how it looks whether i make it as a video or as a live i promise you if everything goes well you know you can't you don't know how the future is gonna go i'm, I'm gonna use this let me do the swatch these first you guys know I love shimmery. I've already said it so, so much. There they are, right there. Beautiful colors. I probably have colors like that. <laughs> but either way, the reason I wanted to get this one is because of that. The fact that I hopefully just go ahead and take these. Oh my goodness. So where are we going to swatch that though? Mm, inside right here. I don't know which one it was, but one didn't come off. Oh, you know what? This one didn't come off, but I wonder if it was that oil. I put the oil on this finger, I think I remember. The one I put under here, and it didn't end up coming off because of that, I think. I'm not sure which color it was now. This is this one. Um, I don't remember what I did. I kind of mixed them up, so there it is. <laughs> uh, don't don't rely on my swatches okay do not rely on my swatches they are the worst swatches that you have ever watched on youtube here and we are just not even going to bother anymore we're just going to go ahead and use it in a video 
okay? So don't rely on my swatches, as I said. Okay, friends, so we have finally the last item here. Valentino, I got the little trio, because I love Valentino, like Born in Roma line. Born in Roma is just my favorite, favorite perfume, but because I have like the other flanker that they came out with that's in a pinker bottle, I didn't want to pick up a bigger bottle, so I decided to get this trio, then that way I get, you know, the Coral Fantasy and the Yellow Dream, which I've been wanting as well. So here we have, look at how cute. These are different than the ones that they sell separately, like in the store. Um, yeah, I will put like a couple of them here so you guys can see uh, what how, how they differ. Let me see. Okay, I literally threw it on the carpet and then used the knife to like pull it through. This was so hard, so hard to get out. But I know I love these. These are not going back, not at all. So it's okay if I'm messing up the box. I am throwing it out anyways. And then putting this in my little minis collection. So here, look at this one. It's not even like, well, a little bit. Like if you see it in person, it has a little bit of yellow. So there is that one, which is the Yellow Dream. Yellow Dream, Coral Fantasy. I'm going to spray a little bit of each on myself. And I have finished off, I think it was a one ounce though, a bottle of the Born in Roma. This one does has gotten me compliments. So that's why I think that's why I love it. I think it's probably because it does well with my body chemistry. And then I have like their dupes back here. You guys see, I've left them out here guys because I actually like it. I like having it out here because I just come out here and just put it on and, and kind of like mess around or play with them during the day. That's why. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. This is supposed to be like, this is supposed to be, which I've messed up because I, I believe it's pink obsessed. And then this one's supposed, Petal Parade's supposed to be more like the Prada, Prada Paradox. But as I told you in that other video, I've mixed my Born in Roma with Prada Paradox all the time. I have put them on together. So I think my nose has gotten kind of like mixed with that. I don't know if I'm explaining myself well, but Mm, I'm going to go ahead and smell it right now because I didn't have it at the time uh, when I did the video. The Pink Obsessed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Practically exact, right? So, yeah. So, forgive me because when I don't have them, it's just like I'm literally mixing them together, which till this day I will still do. Like, I will still mix these two together like that. I love, I love wearing it like that. You guys should try it. Try it because I love it. It's one of my favorite ways of wearing it. And then the, oh my goodness, eventually I'm going to have to get bigger bottles of these. I know because I really do like these. Coral Fantasy. Mmm, smells so good. So good and fresh and fruity too. What fruit does it have? I don't know. You guys let me know because I, this is my first time having it. I have smelled it several times and I think I've looked into the notes, but I don't remember them. Uh, when I went in in store, I believe what the yellow I'm thinking citrusy for this one, the yellow dream. Mm, they all just smell so good. In my opinion, I am so happy to have all of these items. Now I need to stop looking at all the videos and going into the store, except that I do need to return a couple of things unless sister, unless you want this one, this is beautiful. I think you should keep it so I don't have to go return it. And that's all that I have for you guys today. But before I say bye, I want to refer you guys to go watch Simply Shaughnessy. I'm always mentioning her here. I love, love you, Simply Shaughnessy. I love you. And she, I love all of her fragrance videos. Oh my gosh. And I still, I watch all your videos, Shaughnessy. So go ahead and check her out. I'm going to link her channel down below. In fact, I'll put your, uh, her Sephora, uh, not the recommendations. I think you did your haul already. The haul, the one I was watching, I'll put that down below. And then I'll also put down Amy Glam's. Amy Glam, her makeup is just so flawless, so beautiful. Love watching all her makeup videos. And then she does the perf uh, perfume content too. I don't know if that's what you call it. But yeah, go watch her. And Magdalene Janet, she does more like all makeup. Like she reviews so much makeup. And yeah, and I love watching her too because I feel like complexion wise, we're practically there <laughs> so that's why i watch her as well but i love her channel too so i'm gonna put those three ladies down below and i promise if i free you know what i promise not to forget okay but if i do 
you guys help me out and let me know down in the comments let me know of all these items like what did you what did i influence you on because i'm sure you guys are watching and you're like i need to get that now or let me know but if i influenced you on anything because spf is so important i hope i influenced on this okay right here this shiseido the 50 plus and i hope you guys love it clear sunscreen stick i love it this is the best so until the next one friends I hope you enjoyed. I know it was a long one and I appreciate you. You're still here and may you have a blessed day and thank you for watching. Bye guys. Stay blessed.